What up, peeps? Welcome to day 25 of 31 Days of Horror. Yesterday I watched Insidious, which I said reminded me of Poltergeist, so I very well could not follow it up with the classic Poltergeist 1 and 2. Everyone who is a horror fan should have done seen these and know what they're about, but they're based around little Carol Ann and her whole family, but... They move into a new home, which the idiots who are selling the new homes built them over ancient Indian burial grounds. Over a people's graves, so. The house is possessed by poltergeists, ghosts, demons, whatever. And little Carol Ann gets pulled into the TV. It's not actually the end of the TV, but that's where she disappears. And, is in the other side where the dead are at, where the dead roam. And much like in City is where they have Lynn Shay, the poltergeist is, has a, they get help from Tangina, little short lady, and a few other people trying to get Carol Ann back from the other side. A lot of don't go near the light, go near the light stuff. Eventually they get her back all covered in all kinds of plasma and shit and they book it out of town and then you go to part two, they ran off to grandmother's house. Part two I favor over the first one because it has cooler characters, it has the Indian tailor that is in it to help them. It has the creepy old demon priest Henry Kane who sings God is in his holy temple and uh caroline has seemed to have adapted some kind of powers from the first movie she knows that her grandma passed away he goes in and kisses her and goes back to her room and gets a call on her little fake plastic phone and talks to her grandma her grandma tells her to be a good kid and that everything will be all right Yeah, for some reason, see there's a cloud over the house, of demons, ghosts, poltergeists, whatever, follow them to the new house. They're really pissed at these people, I guess. The first one, they, their house was over top of a barrier ground. This one, they just seem to be able to follow. But yeah, I love the character Kane. And... So these are some classic movies. Part 3, not so much. They're in a apartment complex, high rise, it's not so great, but the one or two are classics. These are what I watched. If for some reason you haven't seen them, I highly recommend you check them out. Happy Halloween, peace.